All right, it's recording now. This is C, yep. All right, starting now. talk right now, Mrs. C. I have to get right back to my kitchen or my beans will positively catch fire and burn. Oh, I understand. You better hurry home. We can talk later. That reminds me, Max. I need to get home and start cooking, too. You can stay out and play for a little while, but stay close by so I can call you in when supper's ready. Did you hear that? Mrs. B's beans are positively going to catch fire and burn. Oh, hi, Max. Uh, want to play some catch? Hey, what's that about a fire? Ah, don't worry about it. I just play catch. Oh, don't be like that, Max. I know there's something you're not telling me. What's going on? Uh, well, if you insist, I just heard... Mrs. B says she had to run back to her kitchen because her beans are on fire. <gasps> There's a fire in her kitchen? What if her whole house catches on fire? Max! Time for supper! Well, gotta go. Maybe we can play catch tomorrow. Hi, Andrew. You wanna play catch? Oh, no, no, Slippy. I just heard uh, there's a big fire in Mrs. B's kitchen. Her whole house could burn down. Oh no! We have to do something. That's right, Slippy. You go down Sycamore Street and tell all the kids you see, and I'll go down Johnson Street and I'll tell all the kids I see. Radio! Meanwhile, back at Mrs. B's kitchen, I guess the beans are a total loss. Looks like it's Chinese takeout again. Fire department to the rescue! I mean, it. where's the fire? Why, Mr. Fireman, what are you doing here? Well, we got lots of calls for a big fire in our kitchen. Is it out already? Oh, no, no, no. I just scorched the beans. There's no fire here. What? No fire? Ah, not another false alarm again. I'm never going to get to use this thing. Oh boy, I wonder what that was all about. Did the fireman make it in time? Did he put the fire out? Is everyone alright? So... It's you guys are behind all this. Just what's going on here? Well, I heard you say your beans were positively going to catch fire and burn. And I heard Max say there was a big fire in your kitchen. And I heard Andrew say your house was on fire. We had to get the word out. Oh, boys, boys. I know you meant well, but it looks like you got caught up in a rumor mill. What's a rumor mill, Mrs. B? Well, Skippy, a rumor mill is when we tell a story to a friend that we heard from someone else. We can't help but change it a little bit. When that friend tells another friend, the story gets changed again. I meant to get that one. In other words, the story gets bigger and bigger each time it's retold. Well, that's how the story of your scorched beans could turn into this house on fire. That's right, boys. We need to be extra careful with stories that we have heard from someone else. And that goes double for you, Max, when you overhear someone who isn't even speaking to you in the first place. We probably shouldn't retell those stories at all. Because... You can never know for sure if the story is true or not. In the bot, 
the Bible says in Exodus 23 1 do not spread false reports boy from now on I'm gonna only be telling stories I know for sure are true I sure am sorry for your trouble Mrs. B that's a good plan Max if it's a false if it's a false story about something bad someone could really get their feelings hurt now why don't you boys go back home for supper? Okay. Bye, kids. Yeah, screwed that up. I slipping, should say that line.